So this is an early 2000s Ertl release of the General Lee. Over the years, pieces have either broken or fallen off and have become lost. Sadly, its life as the General Lee is soon coming to an end, but it will be reborn as a test car for future Mopar barn finds. Uh, as you might have noticed, I have already done a little bit of testing on it, practicing some ding and dent techniques with a Dremel tool. And when I was drilling out the roof rivets that held the glass in, I managed to punch through the roof not once, but twice with the drill bit. So 150% my bad on that. Uh, if I ever wanted to use this car in a barn fine diorama, those holes could easily be filled with epoxy or putty and sanded smooth, so not really a huge deal there. Our weapon of choice is going to be this can of Premium Stripper by Clean Strip. Strips paint, epoxy, and polyurethane from wood, metal, and masonry. Works in less than 15 minutes. I bet we'll start seeing results almost instantly. And now the time has come to say goodbye to this General Lee. I hope you had a good life, and we'll see you on the other side. And here's our General Lee after its chemical cremation. Uh, it turned out very well. It did take two applications of paint stripper. The first coat took off probably 96% of the uh, paint, and there was just a few trouble spots that I had to recoat to get them to loosen up. Uh, it has been washed in a mild detergent with warm water and we are ready to spray on a primer coat to help protect the bare metal.